Hi, today I'm looking at another Blur song. It's You're So Great off of the album that's just called Blur. I think it was like their fourth or fifth album, but it was just called Blur. Uh, the song's written by and sung by Graham Coxon. Uh, I don't know if you know the album, but you probably do if you're watching this, but it's a brilliant album for guitar parts. I mean, he's done some lovely stuff all over this album. Uh, my copy's on mini disc. anyone remember that? So, um, I haven't actually been able to play this for a while because my mini disc player is in the loft, I think. But anyway, uh, great album, and I must get that on CD. So that's from there. It's in uh, a slightly lower tuning. It's, it's everything tuned down a half step. So that means that your E sounds like an E flat or D sharp, and, and so on. Each string is down one. Uh, for the purpose of the lesson, I'm just going to keep mine in standard tuning. So, so it's just normal tuning. Um, and obviously if you want to play along with the song, you've got to tune down to E flat standard. Okay, so uh, there's quite a lot to this one. There's quite a lot in it. It's just mainly acoustic, but it, and there's a really cool solo in there, which I'm not going to look at today. It's a slide solo, and I might do another video on that. But the, uh, the, the basic chord part is what we're looking at. Okay, so it starts off with an E minor chord. Standard E minor, you probably know that one. Zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. Uh, um, it also uses an E minor add nine, which is the same chord, but you add the third finger to the first string, second fret. And what it actually does is plays the low E once, does a kind of a slow strum down, like almost like a flamenco sounding strum. Adds the third finger on to get the E minor add nine. And I'd recommend playing this with an upstroke this next part. Just play mainly the first string, but you might catch some of the others a little bit. Take your third finger away and do the same thing. So that was. I mean, that's faster, it's like this. And that's in the song quite a lot. Uh, probably the hardest part for your right hand. Uh, and then we go to an F sus2. Now F sus2 is like this. You've got the first finger over the first two strings, second, uh, first fret, third finger on the fifth string, third fret, fourth finger on the fourth string, third fret. Okay, and then you've also got a bass note that you can add, and he does tend to play like this with his thumb over the top, and that's just first fret. If that's awkward, just avoid that string with the pick and just don't do that part. It will sound nicer with, with that in there. So we've got one, three, three, zero, one, one. And the strum pattern for the F sus2 is a single downstroke, a little bit of a pause, and then three more downs and an up, like this. Okay, so I'll just put that whole intro together, whole sequence, I'll play it slowly. And then up to speed. Okay, so that's the intro. Now the verse, We've got a G chord, it's a three finger G, probably the first G chord that you, you would have learned. So I've got three, two, zero, 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 three. We've got a bar of that. B minor, which is a bar chord. Did you notice then that that first finger didn't really come off of the string, I just went and flanned it down over five strings. It's an A minor shaped bar chord, hopefully you'll know that one already. So I've got nothing on this string, and then two, four, four, three, two. That's a bar. We'll look at the, the strumming after we've gone through the chords. And then we've got C major seven. C major seven is this. It's like a C chord, standard C chord without that finger. So we've got nothing on this string, and then three, two, open, open, open. And also a C chord where you just add this one onto the second string first fret. Back to C major seven again. That's all one bar. So the kind of rhythm on this is like this. 
So let's think of it as a C major 7 and you just add that one on quickly. Down, 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 up, down, up. And then we've got a bar of G. That's the first part of the verse. So the strum pattern for each bar is roughly down, 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 up, down, up. And as with any strumming, try and keep this arm moving. So it's that's four beats, one, two, three, four. So I'll put those four bars of the, the first four bars of the verse together and I'll play them with that, that strum pattern. Okay, so it's not too difficult. Then that starts to repeat. You have another bar of G, another bar of B minor, the C major seven to C that we did before. But this time, instead of going back to G, it goes to an A minor. So I'll just play those four. And then we go to a bar of G, a bar, two bars of F sus2. So they're chords we've, we've looked at. And then a bar of C over G. Now C over G, you may have played this before, it's just a C chord but with those two like that. So you've got your third finger on this G note here. Third fret of the sixth string. Your fourth finger is just underneath on the next string, third fret. And then we've got second fret on the fourth string, open third. First fret on the second string, open first. You probably know this one. And it adds a bit more weight to the chord if you get that, that bass note rather than just C. Get this bass note. It's a much fuller sound. A lot of people use that just instead of a normal C. So that was G, F sus2, F sus2 again, C over G. Uh, so those four bars sound like this. So I'm doing this in four bar sections. The next section is G for a bar, E minor for a bar, but it does a little passing chord in between them, quite a common passing chord, which is G over F sharp. And that, there's my G. And then G over F sharp, I take this finger away, put that one there on the second fret. Now this, out of the context of the song, this will sound horrible. It's just a passing chord between the G and E minor, like this. I'll do that again. So it's on the fourth beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we go to the C major seven to C thing that we did before. Um, the only difference here is that if you listen very carefully, he adds his finger back onto the C just at the end of that bar as well. So it's like this. That's a very small detail. And then we've got A sus2, which is A minor without the first finger. A minor. And the way we play these is by pushing them. That means they come in slightly early. So if I just play the C bar into that bar, you'll, you'll hear what I mean. Something like that, so you're just changing slightly early, slightly before the beat. And then F, which is also pushed. Now the F is the same as the F sus2 we did in the intro, but, and in the verse, uh, I've got this finger now on the third string, second fret. So I've got one, three, three, two, one, one. Just like a bar chord. You could do a bar chord. Now the reason why I wouldn't do a bar chord is because the next chord is the F sus2 where you just need to take that finger away. So it's much easier to go from there to there rather than there to there. Uh, they're both pushed as well. So you've got the A sus2, the A minor, the F and the F sus2 all pushed. And these seem like little details as well but they're, they're quite important. He definitely plays this, these chords this way each time in the song and live as well. And we've got a bar of D, another bar of D, but 
very quickly in the, the second bar of D, you change to D sus2, which is just lifting your second finger away. So D, you probably already know. It's nothing on the thickest two strings. Fourth string's open. Then we've got two, three, two. You probably know that one. D sus2, the first string is now open. So here's D, D sus2. Just play those two bars so you can hear them. slowly okay and that's the end of the verse I'm just going to play that whole verse sequence for you quite slowly goes into the chorus. Right, so the chorus, similar chords that we, or the same chords that we've been using a lot of these, but uh, slightly different sequence. So we've got the G to the E minor, one bar of each, but we've got that little passing chord again. So it's like this. So a bar each. B minor for a bar, C over G for a bar, and then G with the passing chord for a bar, E minor for a bar, B minor for a bar, and then A minor to A sus2. Now this bar, I'm just going to, to play this slowly just so you can hear this. A sus2 is the one with, we take that finger away. So I'm just doing a strum that goes, just constantly. And I'm changing to the A sus2 after the first strum. Okay, I'm just going to play from the beginning of the chorus up to there. Okay, and then following on from that, we start again, G with the passing chord, E minor, B minor, all a bar. So it's... This time we go to F sus2 for a, a whole bar, and then another bar where it's F sus2 with a G just added on the end. The simplest way to explain that is for me to just, just play it, and a bit more strumming, a bit busier on the right hand. So it's like this. You might have noticed that G was an upstroke. That's because it's pushed. It's kind of slightly early. Like this. So it's one and two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I've played the G just before I said beat four. It's in between three and four. And that those two bars are repeated. So I'll just play them up to speed twice. Okay, and after that, we've got a single strum on the F sus2, just a down stroke, let it ring for four beats, and then an A minor, let it ring for two beats, A sus2, let it ring for two beats. All down strokes, like this. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's the end of the chorus. So next there's a solo, amazing solo, uh, and I, I'm not going to look at the solo on here, but I will possibly do look at that separately. It might take me a while to work that one out. Uh, it's a brilliant guitar solo. Uh, 
But anyway, underneath the solo, the acoustic guitar is playing a very similar thing to the verse. The only difference is that the last two bars of the sequence, uh, whereas before we did the D to the D sus2, well, it's just the, on, in the solo, he does the F to the F sus2. Um, in the verse, it's, it's F to F sus2 and then D to D sus2. In the solo, it's F to F sus2 and then again F to F sus2. And then for the rest of the song, what happens is the, the verse repeats exactly the same as it was originally. The chorus repeats and the difference with this, this next chorus is that at the section where we had the, the fast kind of strumming on the F sus2 with the quick G that was pushed, this, this part. In the previous chorus, we played that twice. In this chorus, we play it three times. That's the only difference. I'll just play this chorus for you so you can hear that. Quick thing to mention, um, when he does some of these chords, in particular that, that faster strumming part with the F sus2 and the quick G, he sometimes does a little uh, sort of flick with the right hand to lead into that, which is like this, and a lot of people do this on acoustic guitar, it's where you, you play the first beat as a down, but just before you play that first down, you do a little down up. So it's like, if I count, it'd be instead of one, two, three, four, one, it's one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so from the previous bar in that chorus, it'd be B minor, I'll just do that. And I don't know if he does it every time, but it definitely features in the song a little bit, that. It's quite hard to get the hang of. Just pretty quick. Uh, okay, and then the end of the song, after that last chorus, this is a bit strange, this, this part, um, the sort of timing of it. You basically play a G for a bar, or for two bars, but the first bar, there's a quick C chord on the end of it. I'll just play these two bars for you. So that was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'll do it again. Same strumming, but for the last up, down, up of that first bar, I played a C. And from there, it, it sort of catches you out a bit, the timing on this, but what happens is immediately after that second bar of G, if you go to the intro riff, which was a... As we did before, the pushed... F sus2, so F sus2 with, with a push that's slightly early, and then F minor, This is the F sus2 is a bar, F minor is a bar. Now F minor from F sus2 is quite easy. You just, rather than have the third string open, you need to cover it with this finger, so it's now a one rather than a zero. So here's F sus2, here's F minor. Okay, quite a beatily kind of change that. Um, and then from there we go to C over G, which we did earlier. And there's a quick passing chord, which is also pushed, which is, it's a D add 11 over A, but the simplest way to think of it is you take this chord, slide it along two frets. Okay, now this sequence I'm, I'm doing here repeats several times. I'm just gonna play through it twice, just so you can see what's going on with it. I'll do it a little bit slower than this song. Okay, 
Okay, now you may have noticed then those pushes. There wasn't a push on the C over G, but there was on this funny kind of D chord. So I'll just do it once more. And when you're strumming like that, a push basically means you're on the upstroke rather than on the next downstroke. So he does that four times, that sequence, followed by the, the main kind of intro riff again. But that last D minor kind of hangs a little bit. So there's a, um, it's called a fermata, where, where the, the music kind of just pauses for a little bit and just hangs, the time sort of stretches a little bit. And then you just play an F sus two, one downstroke to finish. Cool ending. So I'll play the whole end section for you, up to speed. And that's everything in the song. So it's a slightly difficult one, this one, but what a brilliant song. Uh, it shows off um, Graham Coxon's songwriting, I think this one. Um, well, all, all the, the Blur songs that he was involved with writing do. Uh, but yeah, brilliant song. A uh, little bit more to it than you might think when you first hear it, but uh, it's, I think it's interesting to, to get all these little nuances in and the little pushes and things that he does and it then will sound exactly like the record. Uh, remember to tune down if you're going to play along with it. So just one half step or semitone down. Okay, any uh, questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, if you like this, this video, then please click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Okay, thanks.